Okay, I am Peter Sidwell and it is recipe time once again. I have created a delicious taco recipe for you. So Mexican inspired, really easy to make, delicious, the family will love them and it's meat free. First thing you need to do is get a non-stick pan onto the heat and in with some olive oil. Then put in your chopped onions, get those cooking, get them nice and soft, and then add in your very finely diced sweet potato. It's really important to get them as small as possible, so take the time, use your knife, and get a lovely uniform small dice. In with your spices. So we're gonna start with some chili flakes, then some ground cumin, and then finally some smoked paprika. Now if you don't have smoked paprika, don't worry, just use the original version. Cook the ingredients down for two or three minutes and then in with your bottle of beer of choice. Now it doesn't matter which beer you use, just go for whatever you've got under the circumstances. Then in with your lentils. It's really important that you rinse your lentils, the cooked versions that come in a tin or a packet, but I always wash them really well in cold water. And then in with your chopped tomatoes. Stir it all together, bring the heat up, get it boiling, and then reduce the heat and let it simmer. That's like a really gentle bubble. And that just allows the cooking process to work through. You wanna make sure that the potatoes and the onions are tender. Then add in the 70% dark chocolate. Now it's really important, don't go putting your kids Easter eggs in. Okay, milk chocolate's no good. It needs to be 70% dark chocolate. And what it does is it just gives it a really nice depth of flavor. It kind of brings everything together, richens it up, and then makes it delicious. So for this recipe, I didn't have any crispy tacos that you can get, so I just took the soft wheat tortilla wraps, fold the tortilla wraps up, put them into a baking tray, and bake them for 10 minutes, 180 degrees, that'll be fine just to set them in that taco shell shape. Then to serve, all you need to do is grate some cheese, then you are ready to serve. Spoon the chili into the tacos, top with some grated cheese and a little sour cream, and if you've got some coriander or parsley, bang that on as well, just for a bit of freshness. And then I always like to finish with some lime juice, because it really just lifts this and makes it absolutely delicious. So if you want the recipe, go to kitchencraft.co.uk and you will find it there.